Um, it's okay, I'll, I'll be doing the choice today. So my question for you is what, any guesses on what those two things are? Okay, interest. Any other suggestions? Personal beliefs. Okay, beliefs, okay. Anything else? It's not a quick question. You all, you all have seen romantic relationships, and your, your parents were at some point involved in romantic relationships. <laughs> Loyalty. Loyalty, okay. That's a good one. Compassion. What was it? Compassion. Compassion, okay. Let's go Sternberg series. Almost like it was trust. Trust, okay. Communication. Communication, okay. These are all good things. You're not quite, you haven't touched on minor, kind of smaller parts of larger issues. You haven't gotten to the larger issues that I'm, I'm going to talk about, but. Attraction. Okay, that's a part of one of them. Or mine's a part of that, I guess, sort of. Anything else? Okay, well, I'm not just gonna, you know, I can't just uh, reveal my, my, my innermost, my, my life advice for you guys, is I have to tell you a story, of course. So there's a story that I'm gonna get to, and then I'll let you guess, uh, you know, see if you can. So, uh, when you're younger, this is me in high school. This is my graduation photo. That's my house behind it. This is me when I, when I was doing fun runs uh, when I was younger. I ran cuss country in high school, if you can believe it. Um, but when you're younger, you can date pretty much anyone you like. You know, it's not a big deal. You can, you know, probably the people you're dating right now and people dated in high school, pro in rare circumstances, then you, 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 you actually end up spending much of your life with them. But Usually you can date whoever you want. It's not, a, it's not really that big. You don't have to be serious about who you're dating. It's, you know, it's, you're trying things out. You're um, experimenting with, you know, finding out more about yourself in some ways than you are finding about the person you're, you're dating. So you don't have to be that serious. But when you get older, this is my, these are my parents, my mom and dad. Um, you may not know this, but my mother was a single mom. I, I think I might have mentioned it, that she was a single mom. Uh, she, when she went to graduate, graduate school in her late 20s, uh, she was a single mom on food stamps. And then, uh, so she, was, she married um, when she was 22, uh, ended up finishing school, and then she got divorced. But somewhere along the line, she had my brother, um, and then she divorced, and then she met my dad. They, they actually met while working at the same, same elementary school. And shortly after they got married, she adopted, my dad adopted my brother, and then they had me. So, and, you know, she had, a, she had, part of the reason she had to be more serious was because she had, she had a child. And, you know, my, neither of my parents made a huge amount, my dad's never made a huge amount of money as a teacher, but he's pretty stable, he's a good person. Um, I'd say, you know, they've been married, I think, 40 years here, uh, next year. So, it's going pretty well, I think. And then this is my brother, and his wife, Susan. Oddly enough, my mom's name is Susan, and his, my sister-in-law's name is Susan, so they're both Susan Hayes. And then we have Aunt Carol's, one of her kids, is also Susan Hayes. So we have three Susan Hayes in our family, which is kind of... Um, Weird. Um, but once again, she also had two children uh, from her first marriage. And my brother, he's making boatloads of money over uh, doing SAP. If anyone knows what SAP is, you should get into SAP because you can make boatloads of money and travel all over the world doing it. Um, so, but, uh, so these are her kids. Now, this is an old picture. This is from the wedding. Uh, Michaela is now a sophomore in college, so she's your age. And Chantel is a bratty 15 year old teenager. Um, I bribed them to take this picture with me. Um, so, but then they got married, so this is them on their wedding day. Uh, they had a typical 30s wedding that cost $4,000 and they paid for it, so. All right, so. This is the positive relationship model that I've, that I've, you know, I'm, I'm around. Now, this is my cousin Britt. She is amazingly beautiful and smart and talented and all these things, but she has very poor choice in gentlemen, right? Uh, her, her boyfriend that she held in high school, he went to jail for a while, she still dated him after, after he got out. Now it was kind of her fault that he, 
that he was in jail. Um, first husband was kind of a bum. Second husband, uh, Glenn, in addition to being a very unattractive person, he's also not a very stable, and, and that's, that's not everything, but he's also a very unstable person, didn't really work. Um, when they finally divorced, she's on her third marriage now, uh, and she's basically, she's a few months older than me, but uh, when they split, he, I would say, went crazy in a lot of ways, and he ended up having, she ended up having a restraining order against him, and it was not a good thing. But, unlike the first, the first marriage, just kind of they divorced, they, went, they moved, moved their separate ways, but they had a baby together. Um, now, uh, so, Evelyn. Now, Evelyn's now, I think, seven or eight, but this is a really cute picture of her. So she had to be more serious, which, uh, and we, I've not met the third husband, but my parents tell me she was fairly serious. So, uh, so that's that. So, part of, you know, so that, you have to be more serious. So, getting back to what I was saying, after the story about the positives and negative relationships, what, any guesses, further guesses on what the two things could be? Okay. The answer is good teeth and no credit card debt. Now, you're warning, this is kind of a very judgmental thing, but uh, these are indications of caring about yourself. So, now you may say, oh, that's, you know, you, you can fix your, you can, if you care about your appearance, that's something you fix. Either, um, either you fix, you know, you had braces when you were younger, or you fix it in your later life. Um, it means you take care of yourself. Now, the credit card, that's a bigger deal. So, it doesn't mean you need me to make boatloads of money, but it, needs, it means you live within your means. Um, credit card is the worst thing you can ever have. Um, so, when you're looking at potential romantic partners, check out, do they have good teeth, and do they have no credit card debt? Um, so, now this speech has changed throughout the years. So this was the one from two years ago-ish, and then this was three years ago, and then this was four years ago. So, that's my, my, my global life advice for you. Look for a random heart with good teeth and no credit card debt. Oh, and one more. So, that's that. That's it. So that's that's my that's my life advice for you guys. Now we're gonna play Jeopardy. We're done.